I'm here with Cannondale's Rory Mason. Rory, as the first U.S. bicycle brand to sponsor a pro European road team, Cannondale's always looked to the tour as the ultimate test bed for their new bikes like the Evo, haven't they? That's right. Ever since our first tour in 1997, you know, right off the bat, we had Mario Cipollini win two stages. Mario would go on to win a total of eight stages aboard Cannondale bicycles. While we were developing constantly, in 2003, we came back to the tour with uh, a mixture of carbon fiber and aluminum. That was our 613. Gilberto Simone went on to win a mountain stage there. That bike was so light that the mechanics had to put weights on the frame to meet the UCI's weight limit, and that was the inspiration for our Legalize My Cannondale campaign. We've won two pol polka dot jerseys. We've had stage wins by Pozzato and Soler. Robbie Hunter, the first African to win a tour stage. So, yeah, we've really had a lot of success at the tour, and we're pointing towards Ivan Basso to take us another step forward. Well, I know Basso has helped you with the product development of this bike. What's he told you that he likes and dislikes about the Evo? Basso really finds it as the perfect balance of lightweight and rigidity, and he says it's very comfortable as well. So we've really taken those three disparate qualities and made a great bike out of it. Well, I know you've got to get this bike back to him, so I'll let you go. Thank you very much. <laughs>